today we are going over some fragrances that are made by Paris Corner Perfumes, distributed by Aroma Concepts. Get into it. Hi, I notice you're watching our content and enjoying our videos. Are you enjoying that fragrance related content? You enjoying that fragrance related content? Well, since you're enjoying the content so much, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell and stay up to date whenever we upload content. You know you want to. Got a nice hefty little package that came in today. See what we got. Always be careful opening your packages. Open this up and we are met with two fragrances. Cerudo, the back over knee by Pandora. 100 ml, 3.4 ounces. Love that design on that box there. As well as Boozy Cherry by Pandora Scent as well. Nice design. Checking out Boozy Cherry first. You got a really nice design and sort of texture on this box here. Really nice attention to detail. I'm super excited to try this out because these guys tend to put a lot of detail into their packaging. They do a really good job at having some bomb pre presentation. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle as well. Got a little bit of hair down there. Pause. EDP concentration here. Got that nice textured design on that box, white and red all around. Paris Corner Perfume on the uh, holographic up here. Pandora Scents there. Got the uh, logo here at the bottom, some ingredient info. Batch code info at the bottom. Pull this up. We got like a red and black inside here. Pull this down and you will met with the top of your bottle. That, that looks cool right from there, yo. Get this out of here, it's kind of snug. And this is the presentation. I'm digging it. The label on here looks just slightly crooked, but it's not that big of a deal. Really nice presentation and kind of got something a little reminiscent to that Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So this is obviously a Lost Cherry uh, inspiration. Love this bright red, saturated red bottle. Pandora sits there, nothing on the sides or anything like that. And you have uh, Paris Corner Perfumes, Pandora Scents at the bottom, EDP. Uh, the cap actually holds pretty well. This is a heavy as hell bottle and the cap holds pretty well. It does eventually slide up on you and you got like a little bit of a red uh, inside on that on that cap. That's pretty neat as well. The presentation on that. What would have been dope if the nozzle would have had like a nice little red uh, nozzle on her. That would have been pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check the atomizer on here. Really nice and wide distribution on that. And we're gonna test it out right. We'll test it out here. And it's, it's exactly what you want. You're getting that tangy, boozy, slightly woody, syrupy, cherry, almond, a little bit of like that slightly benzo, benzoin sort of a vibe, tonka bean vibe. You get a little bit of that spice that's in there. It's everything that you want and you're looking for. I want to say this is priced for this size, for this presentation. Uh, this is priced at around maybe $65 on their website. And for this presentation, this size, one thing I will say with this particular inspiration house, they, they don't always try to go on the money with how the bottle looks, because I noticed that a lot of inspiration houses have gotten away from that most inspiration houses have focused more so on the scent and they'll just use like a generic bottle a generic sprayer or even a roller if it's an oil company to to present the fragrance in but the fragrance itself is like spot on to the original with these guys what i've noticed is they managed on and off because sometimes they'll kind of get away from uh, the original look of the bottle, the aesthetics. Sometimes they'll get away from the aesthetics and focus on the juice. But I've noticed that more often than not, they'll try to focus on both. They want to get a bottle that looks really close, strikingly close, or just, and they'll just make it slightly different. And uh, they'll get the fragrance very close to the original. They do a spot on job with their fragrances, making them close to the originals. I haven't gotten a dud from them yet. Uh, they have very good strength, beautiful presentation, 
uh, I want to say this stuff originates over in Dubai. So they just they tend to go, you know, a little a little over overboard with the presentation. And I love that. Um, this is really good. We're going to test this out some more and check out that longevity and see how long does it last. Because this that has been the infamous problem with Lost Cherry is that it's 250 and up. But the longevity is just not there. Five dollar longevity. Uh, so I'm super interested in checking this out. I love this presentation. Lost Cherry isn't a fragrance that I tend to wear that much. Uh, but when I got the good presentation, a good atomizer, and this good longevity, I wouldn't mind using it. And I definitely wouldn't mind trying to layer it with a few things as well and seeing what I can come up with. Next up, Darudo, the back over knee. Indoor sense. On here we have the uh, letter C located on here, and a crown EDP uh, concentration, 3.4 ounces, under the mill. Got like a nice, almost like reminis uh, reminding me of like a Gucci uh, stripe that's on the side. Got some uh, ingredient info here on the back. Uh, Paris Qu Paris Corner perfumes. Batch code info on the bottom. Charuto up top. Open this up here. Nice clean presentation so far. And here is the top of your bottle. Pull this out of here. And it seems like it holds pretty well. Digging that, digging that presentation right there. That is a solid presentation. Looking at this picture that's on the front. That's a that's super unique. I like that. Got the frosted glass. It's like a, a grayish brown like a muted grayish brown sort of frosted glass uh, finish on here, really smooth. Got the gold lettering here on the front. This cap holds pretty well. And on the bottom, press corner perfume, Pandora scent, EDP. Pull the top up, holds in pretty snug. Doesn't snap into place, but it seems like it holds pretty snug though. Here's your atomizer here. And let's go ahead and test out that sprayer. Kicks out a really nice amount of juice. Really nice, nice sort of pressured atomizer. Beautiful fine mist. And that is it. It's it's everything that you're expecting and looking for. You also have uh, Sherudo on the top as well. I didn't show that part. It's everything that you would expect. This is that really deep, sweet, uh, slightly dirty, but kind of neat tobacco that vanilla coming in there and just kind of taming everything as best as it can. Uh, really dense, uh, spicy, masculine, alluring, beautiful date night in the wintertime fragrance. This will do superbly well in the wintertime. Love the presentation on this. Beautiful presentation, uh, sort of remin you know, reminiscent of the Tom Ford uh, tobacco vanille with the cap. Uh, just has like a slightly different presentation with that beautiful frosted glass. I just love that. I love the way that light hits it. This will look beautiful in any collection. Just post it up in your collection. Beautiful. You set this right next to it. Gorgeous. I, I love the size of these, how big these are, and how close these are to the original so far as how they smell. They do a spot on job. Some people would be like, and eh, this isn't that, or this, they, there's this spot on yo they do a excellent job at creating these fragrances and making them nearly nine nine out of ten so far as like the likeness uh presentation on these is excellent excellent presentation i'm super happy with this and i didn't notice this one on the back got the logo paris corner perfume logo on the back here as well that's really cool beautiful presentation price point on this one is about the same you're gonna get this 3.4 ounce bottle. The likeness on it is gonna be nine, nine out of 10. Great presentation, excellent atomizer. Uh, shipping was super timely. I wasn't expecting this to come as quickly as this did. And this is about $65. Uh, I don't know I don't know what the price point is on tobacco vanity, but I wanna say it's entirely more than 65 if you were to ever get a 3.4 ounce. I don't even think they sell those in that size. I could be wrong, but I don't think they make those in these sizes. I think it's smaller. So I'm definitely happy with this. 
I'm going to go in let my wife smell this. It kind of gives you a like a really sexy masculine ram cracker vibe because it gives you like this cinnamon, almost like a cinnamon vibe. I don't know if cinnamon is in it, but it gives you like a tobacco, cinnamon, vanilla, honey. It almost gives me that same vibe that Noxos gives way, 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 way down on that dry down, not in that opening and not in that transition where it's still real medicinal, but when it's been drying down for a few, a little while. Noxos has an extremely good performance, at least for my skin, but in later on that dry down, like maybe about a good six, seven hours in, you get like this uh, honey, tobacco, cinnamon, vanilla vibe. And it almost comes off like a graham cracker. And this kind of reminds me of that. But instead of having to wait hours into the dry down, you get all that delicious, delicious action immediately. This is, this is good. For that price point, for the presentation, the size, it's, this is decent. I like this. As I said, I'm going to be spending a little bit more time with these and just seeing how these develop, see how these work out. I'll drop the link in the description where you can check out Aroma Concepts. That's the distributor for these fragrances. Paris Corner Perfumes is the creator. And yeah, these things are excellent. Great performance, great presentation, excellent price point. I mean, what else, what else do I need to ask for? Listen, that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.